Well, America's pastime in the military are as much a part of the 4th of July as fireworks themselves. But baseball enables a select group of military, all-stars that is, to put down their government uniforms in favor of a ball and a cap. This is a team that will never be intimidated by an inside pitch. We worked all over, all over Iraq. Uh, we were stationed out of Baghdad. First. You're looking at one of 32 military all-star teams around the world. You'll find all branches of the military on one team. So a Navy pitcher might be throwing to a Marine. We had a guy that uh, was in on pulling Saddam Hussein out of the hole uh, in a tank battalion. And uh, they got on a plane and they showed up in uh, Newport. And less than 24 hours later, we were playing one of the best college teams in America. Most of the players here are on what's called TSD, Temporary Assigned Duty. I got you. Baseball serves as a mental break from this, no. the real job. Not knowing when you're going to come home, that'd be the most terrifying for me because everything else you just have to be able to put behind you and just go with the flow. Everyone pays for his own uniform and travel expenses. The players who are on deployment are with them in spirit. You'll find a patch on all these uniforms as well. It speaks to their assignment or where they've been. This was actually a patch that uh, one of the Iraqi special forces, uh, I, I cut it off his uh, uniforms. So, really? Yeah. Wow. The yellow S on the jersey symbolizes support the troops. The bond America's pastime has created between fans and those fighting for our freedom is more powerful than any base hit. They just take us in like we were friends all along, even though we just met a couple hours before the game. And it's just a good feeling because you don't see that out in the real world. In their first 21 games, they won 19. What you won't find at the box score is the competition in their own dugout. They drive our stats guy crazy. Our Coast Guard guy hits uh, two in the lineup, and he's all over the place. And, uh, you know, basically, you know, Anytime he goes in for a Navy guy, he's like, ah, Coast Guard's got to save the Navy. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a little bit of that going on, and that's a lot of fun. It's obvious they have more than just a few good men.